beach at night. The car is going up through. See, I want to get a picture of the Weir's Beach sign. I'm going to post it to Instagram if I can. I'm going to have to take it from the other side where people are leaving Weir's Beach. So I might have better luck doing it that way. I don't know. I'll wait and see. I have high hopes. There's the Weir's Beach sign. So I want to get a picture of it from the other side. I think I can. Oh man, there's a lot of bugs down through here. A few moments later I did not get a good photo. Playing at the park at El El Gimador. What the hell? Park at El Gimador. Right here. See how bad the photo is. No one behind me now, right? This is horrible. That is a better photo. Much better photo. I'm so happy right now. Alright, so I was a little pissed off at the first photo. <coughs> at the first photo I got. I liked it, and I actually posted it on Instagram, but I just, I could do better, I got rushed. I thought I could squeeze the photo in before the car that was behind me caught up, because they were all the way at the other end, but they, they came right up on me, I, I couldn't help it. So I, I left and did like another little circle around. I came back to try again and I got it perfectly that time. So very, very happy, happy, happy.
happy. Happy, happy, happy. Happy, happy, happy. Be happy, happy, happy. She's gonna be happy, happy. Happy, happy, happy. Happy, happy, happy. Happy, happy, happy. Happy, happy, happy. We're happy, happy, happy. Everybody happy, happy, happy. I've lived here for, oh geez, 11 years now. No, 11? 11, yeah. So, 11 years I've been here. I've had a bike for half that, I guess. And I've always wanted a pitcher with a weird beach club. Always wanted one. I, I don't know why. I just always have. I, I don't like the sign in particular, but it's freaking a staple for the area. It's one of those signs that's been there since the 60s, 50s, 40s, whatever. It's been there for a long ass time. And I wanted a pitcher. I got my pitcher pictures. I got my pictures. Now I don't have to worry about it unless I get a new bike. So I I think my bike is just completely dirty again. I went by this uh, this little pond and it was just a wall. A wall of either mosquitoes or the, the little black flies, the no see there. And I just went right through them. I'm actually glad I had my helmet on this time. Um, because, I mean, I'm a bearded man. So, I mean, those get all all wrapped up in my beard. And I get home and I go kiss my wife. And she's like, oh, your beard's moving. It's like, oh, yeah, I got I got bugs in my beard. Give me a kissy, kissy. <laughs> I'm losing it. Slightly. More and more every day. But I haven't done a night video in a while, so... Well, actually, I recorded the other night, and uh, I had I had a guy pull out in front of me. I'm I'm gonna put the footage in right now. Um, but it just. I mean, I, I couldn't find the horn in time. I actually turned my radio up like two or three notches because I was trying to hit the horn so fast. Uh, but I did event eventually find the horn. But I was so pissed off because that was the third time in that night that I'd either been had a car pull out in front of me. I've had, you know, just someone uh, almost run into my buddy, Mr. Kool-Aid. And uh, I reamed her out. She... I didn't have it on camera, but I, uh, I mean, I was pointing at her, I, I was rip shit pissed, and that was because she had small children in the car, and I just, I don't get it. I don't get why, with small children in the car, you drive like an absolute fool. It makes no sense to me.